What's up YouTube, it's your boy Matrix21, back with yet another video, back with yet another sneaker preview to be exact, and if you don't know what a sneaker preview is, we go over upcoming sneakers, I give you release information, prices, materials, and my overall thoughts on the sneaker, but before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell as well so you never miss a video, check out my Twitter page at Matrix21, and my Etsy shop at TDMadeIt, both the links are down below in the description, and stay tuned to the end of the video where I give you a 5 star rating on these sneakers, and let you know if it's cop or flop for me. But enough of all that, let's go, let's get to the sneakers. So today we'll be taking a look at the Puma MB01. So this is the first look and first colorway of LaMelo Ball's Puma signature sneaker. And it's the first signature sneaker in Puma's revamped basketball line. Uh, first things like Clyde, <laughs> Clyde Frazier back in the day and Ralph Sampson. So uh, definitely a long way from those sneakers and silhouettes, but definitely a decent looking sneaker. I love the extra details they have all around the, all around the silhouette, which look really nice and really clean in my opinion. I'm guessing, I'm guessing those three X's are for him and his brothers. I'm pretty sure it probably is. And I like when they do stuff like that, a little added details. This is pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, it's like a dream catcher around the ankle, and then, I don't know, it looks okay. But I do like the color, even though I say I can't, I can't wait to see what other colorways look like. Uh, but it looks pretty decent. It have a Puma logo on the on the toe box, which isn't overdoing it. You don't have a big Puma logo on across the side, which could take away from it. Then we have the one of one logo on the tongue. And on this partic particular colorway, it kind of breaks it up, the black writing. It stands out pretty strong on it, and uh, I like it. I can't wait to see what other colors they come up with. More Hornish true colors may look look pretty good as well. I like the way they did the, uh, the tongue in general. Mellow Ball, his whole logo looks nice. It's like the uh, Wing Phoenix almost. But I know he has a, a rocket tattoo, and that's uh, probably what this uh, sampled after. But it looks pretty cool in my opinion. And uh, not from here, which looks uh, really nice and amazing on that, that top around the strings as well. Like I said, it's pretty predominantly one monochrome color. It's kind of reddish orange, and it looks decent. But I'm kind of more hesitant on saying I like this one. Can't wait to see how the the future colorways look. And on the, on the back, if we have another Puma logo, only the second I think Puma logo on the sneaker, and then you have Mellow uh, spelled out on the back as well. But it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty cool. Like I said, the writing really stands out. And on the, on the, and on the outsole, we have Rare, which is uh, something you usually can, uh, you know, put with uh, Melo's uh, playing style. So it definitely looks cool. Uh, definitely stands out. That's probably, in my opinion, the best part of the sneaker. <laughs> but uh, here you have him with the sneakers on. And like I said, it looks pretty decent. Definitely a basketball uh, silhouette. Uh, I don't really know uh, off the court. It may be okay, but definitely on the court, I think it'll be pretty decent. And I've heard good things about Puma's performance, so I think definitely it'll probably be a good performance sneaker to wear. So now let's get to the release information, and these are set to release in December 2021. No specific date yet, but we have a price tag of 125 bucks, and the, the uh, where to find will be to be announced. But I'm pretty sure they'll probably be widely available. Maybe not this color, but in the future, this sneaker period will be pretty widely available. Uh, I expect this first colorway to probably sell out, and I don't think the rest of them will. In my opinion, I think it's a decent sneaker. 125 bucks, good price. And like I said, I think it will be available for most people to actually pick up. Just like maybe not this first color. But I give it a 3 out of 5. It's a nice cop. A cop to hoop in, but I don't know if it's really that crazy, that amazing of a sneaker. It's, a, it's okay, not groundbreaking or anything, so I give it a 3 out of 5. It's decent, but not, you know, over the top. 125 bucks though, why not cop it and have it in your collection? But that's all I got for you today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is Major 21. Peace. Talk to y'all later. Bye.